Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Lovely Day by Bill Withers. attempt at the bass, the bass part at the beginning of the song. Um, <laughs> I know it's silly to play it on the ute, but that's the best I could do to keep it in the key and all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you most of the chords, but but uh, if you want to learn that part, here it is. It's all tabbed out. There's a link. You can look at the tab, uh, all my work and stuff. Okay, so this is the bass intro part. I uh, know it does not sound very good on the ute, but first string, seventh fret, three times. Then you go to the 2nd string 7th fret, back to the 1st string 7th fret, so just like that. And then, then you do that again where you hit the 2nd string and the 1st string 7th fret, and then go to the 6th fret on the 1st string, so sorry, just like that. So it sounds like, then you're on the 1st string 4th fret, so 1st uh, string 4th fret 3 times. And then the second string fourth fret, first string fourth fret, then the second string fourth fret, first string, and then second string, all fourth fret. Just like that. So so far it's like. Then open first string, second string fourth fret, and then first string open. And then first string three, three, two, two. Okay, so the, the bass does that two times, uh, well twice, at the beginning of the song. The keyboard comes in with these chords, E chord, C sharp minor 7, A major 7, A major 7 again, C major 7, B minor 7, and um, so the second time through that little bass solo, or introduction, uh, these chords come in. So let's learn the chords. Um, uh, once you learn these chords, you have almost the whole song done. So, first string, second fret, fourth, third, and second string at the fourth fret. That's your E chord. You're just going to let it ring. Uh, just hit it once, let it ring for four beats. Then a C sharp minor seven, just bar the whole fourth fret. Four beats. Then fourth string second fret and bar three two and one at the fourth fret that's an A major seven let that ring for four beats hit it a second time let it ring for two beats then a C major seven first string second fret everybody else is open hit it once and then B minor seven you bar the whole second fret hit it once so here's your intro again slowly it's E C sharp minor seven a major 7, hit it a second time, and then C major 7, B minor 7, and then you're in, and Bill starts singing, um, when I, uh, I forget what the words are, <laughs> I forget what the words are, uh, oh, when I wake up in the morning, love. that's it, okay? So that's your intro, not a big deal if you want to skip that part, <laughs> uh, unless you have a bass player, you can show him what the notes are, he'll probably already know them. All right, the verse is again, it's going to be an E chord. Uh, we're going to come up with a strum pattern. C sharp minor 7, A major 7. You don't want to add the muted strokes in there. We'll, uh, we'll uh, let's give it to you the easy way first. So down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. You could just do something like that for most of the song. There are parts that you heard that, that are different, but down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Now, for those of you who want to know what I was doing, it was something like down, 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 up, muted, 
and then, uh, well, no, it was down, down, muted, and then I let it ring, sorry. So that up, I put the pressure back down, so it's, and then, then a down, up, muted, so. Down, down, and then muted, down, up. So, you can look at my work, it's easier to look at it that way, but to yell it out, it's difficult, so it's, down, down, muted down, up, and then muted down, up, down, down, muted down, up. Okay? And fast, it sounds like. And then you go to the C sharp minor 7, same thing. A major 7, same thing. Here's where it changes. You stay on the A major 7, but your strum is going to be down, 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 up, is the muted. So, down, 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 up is muted. Then I'm going to go to the C major 7, and uh, I think I gave, yeah, I gave it this chord already. So, down, this, this one would probably be a down, down, up. Uh, it's hard to mute this one. On the guitar I go down, and then I do a little, you know, muted. But on the ook, it's all open. So I just do down, down, up. And then the B minor 7, same thing, you bar the whole second fret, down, down, up, or you go, that one you can, that one sounds better. So, uh, that's your first line through the verse, and then you got the E again, and then the C sharp minor 7, and then the A major 7, and then the C major 7 gets a whole measure this time, and that one's just down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Stuff you can't mute them because they're all those open strings. All right, so I'm sure that's confusing. This is the verse. I'm not going to yell out the chords. I'm just going to play. That's the, uh, when I look at you, um, whatever those words are. So, your new chord, A minor 7. Your left hand, it doesn't have to do anything. It's all open. Okay, it doesn't work so great with this tune, um, you know, because uh, we. I'd like to get those chickas in there, but it's the best we could do. So, uh, and also the, the actual tune is actually playing a C with D in the bass. We just can't do that effectively and make it sound like the song on the ook. As you know, the ook is, you know, we can only do so much. So, this is the best I could come up with. It's a bit of a compromise because it's really a C sharp, a C slash D to a D slash E, those first two chords, and then it is an A minor 7 to a B minor 7. But uh, this sounds pretty close. It's as close as I can get it. So all you have to do is go A minor 7, do that same strum pattern, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Then you go to the B minor 7, you borrow the whole second fret, same thing. This one you can put all those chickas in so it's much better. And you basically just repeat that like one, two, three, four times in a row. So. So now we have the chorus. Is an E chord, C sharp minor seven, A major seven, C major seven to B minor seven. Uh, sorry, E. <laughs> what I was doing. C sharp minor seven, A major seven, C major seven to the B minor seven. So that just repeats over and over again. So, in, but an actual chorus, it only does it two times. Sorry, I shouldn't shouldn't mislead you like that. So let's go over it. Uh, you got an E chord, and you do the same strum pattern we've been doing. C sharp minor seven, same thing. A major seven, 
And here's where it changes. We go to a C major 7. We're going to go down, 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 up. Uh, I'd like to go down, down. So. Uh, that's a B minor 7 I did at the end there. Same thing. Down, 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 down is the muted. Okay? And then that repeats. So it's like... And that's the lovely day part, okay? Lovely day, lovely day, lovely day. It's that part over and over again. And uh, you repeat it twice, that's what I'm calling one chorus, okay? So the form of the song, you get that intro at the beginning with the bass and the keyboard comes in and we're mimicking what the keyboard's doing in the chords. And then you got a verse, and once you're at this point, this is really the song, because you got the verse, pre-chorus, and then the chorus, then you do that again. Verse, pre-chorus, chorus, then again, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and so you just repeat those three main parts over and over, uh, three times in a row. Then at the end of the song, they just stay on the chorus and just repeat it over and over again and fade out. Okay? So that's all you need. Um, you know, it didn't work out as well as I wanted it to, but it was good enough. It's close enough, um, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Hit like. Why don't you hit like? What do you think? You know you like it. All right. Play more ook.